Ubisoft and Square Enix together just because Ubisoft didn't have so much things. They only had like a few things that were sort of repeatedly, but you know what? Whatever. So, yeah. So, on this video, I'm going to talk about my opinions about all of these games. And if I mentioned some, if I forgot to get to mention some of them or didn't mention them, it's because I wasn't 100% interested in it. If you are, that's great. These are all games that I found sort of interesting and stuff like this. So let's start with Ubisoft. Now in Ubisoft, um, I am gonna mention a few of them because I didn't see that much. So there's that. So the first thing that got my eyeballs um, glued to, you know, to my monitor um, is Watch Dogs uh, Legions, which is apparently Watch Dogs 3? I don't know. But this game looks really nice. Um, it takes place in London, which that's a little bit more interesting. I would have liked it to take place here in the United States, somewhere, I don't know where, but I wish because, I don't know, it's just that, it's just the way that the layout of the United States is, uh, it's more like, I know how these streets are, I know how the layout stuff like that is, and in other countries probably different, so that probably is gonna, you know, but also other countries out there, probably won a game based around their own country, which is great. Now, um, I would have liked it to be in Japan. That would be a lot interesting. That would be, but at the same time, I think it will be a pain in the ass because if you know how, how like Tokyo and stuff like that, how big it is. Um, yeah, but they were able to do LA, so, or I think they, I don't know, if Watch Dogs, I don't know. Uh, so there's that. So this game looks really interesting, stuff like that. One of the things that I've heard is that you're able to get other people, like control other people or something like that. And once you control those people, you're able to have a backstory with them and everything like that. To be honest, dude, um, I kind of, I'm not so much a big fan of that idea. It's either give me a character, like a character I can play that has a great backstory. Or uh, give me a character that I can customize and just uh, give him... A backstory right as I'm playing the game give him like a cool little thing that is happening and they get to discover you know what I mean um, yeah so that's that's how it is okay so that's Watch Dogs 3 look really great everything's amazing the show gameplay I can't believe it's gonna come out in 2020 which I'm like they barely release a a trailer and also they release gameplay which is great unless they were working on this for like a long while they just want to release it that's great you know but there's that uh yeah so that's oh watch dogs 3. now the other game that i found i found it a little bit interesting i don't think that i'm gonna be playing is ghost recon breakpoint it looks really good everything like that but uh but the thing about it is that i feel like i don't know if that game is gonna be like only online i'm not so sure because uh tom clancy uh recon was online and also the, the division 2 was also online so there's that so i'm not really so keen and the reason why i'm talking about this because it looks interesting and that's basically they showed a lot of that stuff in it uh they also showed uh for honor which that kind of like a game that came out right and it's just adding stuff to it there's that um and i feel like that's about oh they also showed dance dance to 2020 and for some reason it's gonna be on the Wii I'm guessing I don't know maybe because it's supported because being to be honest the dance dance game they're unique they're interesting but I don't know like it's it's I feel like it's a cool way to like put on a game and make dancing learning how to dance or dancing more interesting 
That's what I feel like it. But I I only played the Michael Jackson one. And I played because a friend of mine a really long time ago had one. And I just played it and that that's it. Like I never wanted to play it. Like I never had the need. But I feel like it is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, just interesting. But not, I'm like, eh. Like, I don't know. Like, a game, I don't, I, it looks interesting. But I'm not going to pick it up. Now the other thing they also mentioned is uh, the Google Stadium, okay? To be honest, dude, I don't really care that much about Stadium just because it's a, uh, it's this thing, I believe it's a controller. It's an online live streaming service where you play games that are, are online and you get to stream them. You play it anywhere. There's that. You know what I mean? So. You have a controller, you play games, and you need to be connected to the internet. That that alone, that little thing that you have to be connected to the internet is the one thing that I don't like. Because what if you're you're in a place where there's bad internet? And I don't mean that here's the thing. I don't mean that oh I'm gonna feel sorry for the people that have bad internet. No, well yeah, I do feel sorry for them, but what if you travel to that place? What if you go camping? What if you go here? What if you go there? And and stuff like that. What if you go visit your grandma and they don't have internet? Exactly. See what I mean? And your parents are not going to get internet for them. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, I feel like, every, I feel like the thing, I feel like some people, some companies out there think that everybody should have internet by now. But you'd be surprised how much people don't. You know, people are just like, eh. I don't use it like grandma and grandparents they have to suffer so I don't know it's just that I, I'm not a hundred percent keen on games being um, online only like if you're gonna play a game and that game is like com has a com campaign has a campaign right and that campaign has to be only online I don't I don't know I just I just don't know okay, so now I'm gonna talk about Square Enix I think Square Enix uh, blow it out of the park. They did a, a, a great show. Last year, half of it was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The other half of it was Kingdom Hearts 3. Which I have no problem with it because I loved Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I loved the, the Tomb Raider series. It's one of my, it's one of the fav my favorite games. You know, it's one of. Okay, I have many of them that are my favorite. But that's one of them in my shelf. I, I don't know. So there's that. And Kim Hearts 3 looks really great. Yes, I feel like they only showed two of them, but that's about it. That's how people say it was bad, but this year, they did really great. Okay, this year, they, oh my god, like, the entry for this, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks amazing. They show cinematic footage, they show gameplay, I'm not complaining. Also, later down the conference, they did announce a few little more stuff about Final Fantasy. You know, more stuff, which is great. They also talked about Final Fantasy Online. And then they also um, they, they also talked about Final Fantasy VIII being uh, remastered or something like that. Not remake, remastered. Which I think it looks really great. You know, I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy series. I believe the, uh, the previous one was Final Fantasy XV. I bought that game and it was amazing. You know, I loved it. You know. They show clips from uh, Life is Strange uh, too, The one with the brothers or something like that. And they have power or something like that. Um, yeah, they show something. They show those things, which I thought, yeah, it looks pretty great. Um, I played the first one and I loved the first one. This one, I have no idea how this one's going to be. I love uh, the art style and everything like that. I think it's really great. And you're on know, the filters and the whole ideal thing. So I don't know if this one's going to be better or how this one's going to be. Now they show a uh, trailer for Dying Light 2 which looks really good. It looks amazing. It kind of gave me like a Metroid Exodus kind of vibe. A little bit of that. But with just zombies. It looks really interesting. Um, I don't know what to think about it. It just, it just looks interesting. I want to see gameplay. I want to see more stuff about it. And I want to see a release date, which I don't know if they did release the release date. I can't remember that. But yeah, Dying Light 2, it looked really interesting. Another uh, zombie genre. I don't know if zombies, like, 
people are saying the zombie genre died, but to me, I'm like, eh, whatever. Another zombie game, as long as it's good, that's all I care about, you know? Now, the other game is called Outriders, or Outriders. This game looks really good. You know, the graphics, everything like that, looks interesting. That's about it. Uh, we didn't get any gameplay or nothing like that, but the cinematic trailers looks amazing. So, I really did enjoy this one. So, now, the last game they showed, which is the game that everybody was, like, hyped about and really amazed, was the Avengers, well, the Avengers trailer. Um, it kind of, like, it was cinematic trailer, but it kind of looked like they were kind of showing a little bit of, like, gameplay. Just, like, I don't know, like, footage from a gameplay or something like that. Not actual gameplay. Um, stuff like that. It looks really great. All of the characters, obviously all the characters, their faces uh, might look a little bit weird. And stuff like that, just because people are used to seeing the characters on the movie screens and stuff like that. From the Avengers. To me, I didn't find it that extremely weird just because I follow this channel called um, Comic Book Story or something like that. And they, um, I watch them in the morning. And they basically, what they do is that they read comic, they, they read them the comic, and it's like you're reading a comic, like an audio book or something like that. But with comics, and they show pictures, stuff like that. And then they show them. Uh, I saw a couple of them of like Iron Man, Tony Stark. So seeing that version, I'm like, I wonder how that's going to look in real life. So. There's that. So Tony Stark is uh, Robert Downey Jr. is great as Iron Man. This one's gonna be different, which I like. And th they actually showed the voice actor stuff like that, and it looked really interesting. Uh, the graphics look kind of cool. Uh, the one thing that got me concerned about it is that I don't know if it's gonna be just online because if it's a game that's gonna be only online, like just online, I'm probably not gonna play it just because to me. I'm not a huge fan of, of online games. The only games I kind of am a little bit keen on that are great that are online. One of them is Overwatch. I like the art style and the characters. The game itself, the gameplay, it's okay. It, I mean, it's good, right? As a person that doesn't play online games, I think it's good. The farthest I've gone is Halo, but that's that's Halo. But yeah, there's that. Okay? Uh, I. I don't know, I've, I haven't played it in a while, but I do like the characters, design, and all these things, and I'm a huge fan of that. Okay, so that was it. That was the whole Square Enix and Ubisoft, you know. Um, I thought uh, Ubisoft, I wish it could have done a little bit better. Square Enix did a really good job. They're great. Now it's time to watch Nintendo and see what they're going to bring. Um, I was hoping that after Adventures, they show like... Like a secret trailer, not like a secret trailer, but more like a trailer for a game that's gonna come out, and it's like, and it's like, it's like a surprise thing because Avengers, a lot of us we were all expecting it, like, oh, is it gonna do it? And it's like, when it's ah, we we're excited, but we kind of knew, but like something like, like, I don't know, I don't know, something like, I just don't know, like, I wanted like a small little surprise, something that did not expect, like, give us a curveball, something we did not expect. So there's that. Uh, yeah. So now I'm actually looking forward for Nintendo to see what's gonna happen. Uh, they didn't show anything about uh, the the Beyond Good and Evil 2, but in one video, the digital gameplay and they showed like the trailers and stuff like that on the internet. That's all they did. They didn't show it in E3, but they did show it like on YouTube and stuff like that, which is great. But I and I don't know if this show when it's gonna come out. But I am interested in that game, and that's one game that I really am interested in. Uh, that's about it. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys later, and bye.